Now, there is a simple blood test that has the power to help save men's lives. Some doctors rely on it. Many survivors swear by it. It's the PSA test, and it's part of a process that can detect prostate cancer when no other symptoms are there. So why would a government task force recently recommend against PSA tests in prostate cancer screening in general? As Tim Lammers reports, it's a complicated issue, one that men may be forced to confront. Life is priceless, but it's saving lives that costs a lot of money. Screening for prostate cancer doesn't just take a huge financial toll, it takes a huge physical one as well. So screening for prostate cancer certainly had better work for all we spend on it. And yet, there's been a lot of recent evidence to suggest that for the most part, it doesn't. Most men with prostate cancer have no symptoms. The only thing that was an indicator was the PSA, the blood test. Early screening caught Tom Roscoe's prostate cancer. I, I think it's foolish to bury your head in the sand. Uh, I'd rather, I think information is always better. But clinical trials of screening haven't been encouraging. Some show little to no benefit from it. One study in Sweden showed a 50% drop in death rates in men ages 50 to 64. But that was a drop from a tiny death rate to an even tinier death rate. Ultimately, very few men from that trial were saved by screening. Right now, the literature support for PSA testing is very weak. And the cost of saving them was substantial. It's not really the millions of dollars it costs to save each life. It's that for every one man saved by screening, 40 to 50 have to be treated. All of them risk painful and debilitating side effects from surgeries, radiation. Some of them never needed to be treated at all. Prostate cancer is as deadly as any cancer if, if left untreated, but the good news is uh, they're not always lethal, as opposed to some other cancers we're forced to deal with. In fact, sometimes the best course of treatment is no immediate treatment at all. As it turns out, the PSA test isn't as good at finding the deadly cancers as it is at finding the more harmless prostate cancers. Still though, often both patient and doctor feel compelled to act. The fear of failing to diagnose cancer in our country. Remember, there's a huge price to be paid. If you fail to diagnose a cancer, that patient is angry. Um, uh, many, many physicians are actually at, uh, at extreme risk of being sued. For the most part, the government feels the collateral damage is just too great. The conclusions of the task force are that PSA testing doesn't benefit men who have a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years or less. Some, a male age 50 to 60 is likely to survive 20 or 30 years. Those men still may benefit from PSA testing. Next week, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know, both good and bad, about the PSA test. But for now, I'm Tim Lammers, Fox Connecticut.